was in eighth grade, the first time I came across Pat Summit indirectly. I was sitting at home, flipping through the channel, and all of a sudden, I stopped, drawn into an icy blue stare of the one and only. <laughs> I was hypnotized instantly, and for whatever reason, couldn't pull away from the screen. I remember thinking to myself, even then, I just hope I get good enough to play for this lady. The passion, the stir, the determination, the willpower, the fight, that's what I wanted. Over time, that's what pushed me to take my game to another level. Fast forward to my sophomore year in high school, the first time I got a letter from the Lady Vol, signed by Mickey and Howie. I don't know what it was, but I pasted that letter on my wall, right next to my favorite player, Alonzo Mourning. We can never prepare for a moment like this, although ultimately we know it will come. But I don't know why Pat seemed invincible in every single way. I knew coming to UT that I would be pushed and that I would be challenged, but I believe that all of us Lady Vol welcome that, some more than others. <laughs> no names. And we were all willing to be molded into the people that we are today. Pat was more than our coach. She was our friend, she was our mentor, she was our leader, she was our mother, she was our father, and for me, she was my quiet through my storm. While we didn't speak every day, I knew that she was just a phone call away. When I look out over the sea of our Lady Vol family, we are all brought together, joined in unity for this moment because of our wonderful leader, Pat. I can't imagine how different our lives would have been if we had chosen anywhere but here. We came here to play ball and to get an education, but we left with so much more. While she valued what we did on the court, she valued even more what we did in the classroom, the community, and ultimately, that we would all individually what we would bring to the world. There have been a lot of tears shed over the past month as we watched our heroes slip away from the earthly realm to the heavenly one. And while it's been tough, the amazing stories that have been shared over the past few weeks have made this celebration a little bit easier. I know Pat is looking down and continues to look down on each of us as we celebrate her life today and what she means and has done for so many of us. She gave us hope. She gave us direction. She gave us a sense of coolness through what we did on and off the court. She was the epitome of what being great is all about. And that bubbled over to us through her expectation for each one of us. We must be great. Standing here today, I go back to the phone call Pat made to me when she was diagnosed with dementia. She said, Ketch, don't be scared. I'm gonna fight like none other. Well, through her fight and continuous fight, Pat has showed us how strong to be and how great to be once again. I dedicated the 2012 season to her, and we finished strong with the championship with her in the building. The hug that I gave her that night, I will never forget. As we embraced in that moment, I swear no one else was there. Everything just seemed so perfect. Nothing else really mattered. That moment, the real Pat was there and was able to witness more than a basketball accomplishment, but a life accomplishment. Tonight, we celebrate Pat. And we all remember the greatness that she exuded in everything that she did. Tonight, we cry, we dance, we laugh, we sing to honor Pat and everything about her. i like all the Lady Vol to stand at this time. <laughs> to our leader, To our leader, our mentor, our mother, our friend, our inspiration, our angel. 
Thank you for being a faithful servant in all that you did and now allowing us to walk the walk of life with you. This is not a goodbye, but an until we meet again. We love you, Pat, for everything. Pat's legacy in women's basketball continues to live on today and will for years to come, thanks to the impact she had on the coaching profession. Basketball sidelines around the nation and at all levels are filled with coaches who can point directly to Pat and her influence on the game as the reason why they are there today. No one was more familiar with just how much she impacted those around her and grew the game of women's basketball than those who worked closely beside her. Please join me in welcoming two of Pat's former assistant coaches and closest friends, Mickey DeMoss and Holly Warlick. 